Hi there everyone, I'll be trying to make this video a few times and every time we get some kind of interruption. We're in the middle of a heat wave here in Israel, almost 40 degrees centigrade, I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. So I'm making this video inside, I really want to make this video outside, but that's why it's been it's delayed. Anyway. My pipe is this beautiful Alpha Century pipe with this gorgeous, gorgeous under stem. The lighting isn't so good. It's an old Israeli pipe, it must be about 60 or 70 years old. One of my friends bought this from uh, deceased pipe smokers. The state. His wife was selling more of his pipes and Water some pipes, this is the pipe I chose. Beautiful Israeli pipe. And smoking some plum pudding. So I have a pipe club. And the beverage of my choice, the Chaim the Chaim from the hands. This beautiful German beer. So I say Australian. This was so Australian beer. On the bottom of the can, as you can see that it is imported by Pinnacle Drinks. Blue Street, Surrey Hills, Australia. So I'm not sure it's a German beer made in Australia, in Australia. It does say on the can. Here we go. Original German beer. Actually cloudy wheat beer. Very nice beer. See the sticker and the Israeli details on it. It's named for Stephen Kosher. Amazing stuff. Mmm. Picked up in the off license, I like the German beers. I got a little of a selection, a little bit more tasty than the regular beers. It goes very nice with the tobacco. I like washing my mouth out when I smoke, it kind of renews the flavour. I heard a lot about the Seattle Pipe Club tobaccos. Have some plum pudding, have some Mississippi River. I understand they also have some new additions. Let me just check this out. Let's see if I can get you the camera to show you the flavor here. Yeah. A little bit. Oh. That's better than oh yeah. Look at those colours. You get these kind of like almost like twigs. Very, 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 very thick flakes. I opened the tin and the smell was absolutely divine. When I smoked it, I thought it would be more of a latakia. There's latakia inside it, in this blend. This is present. Mrs. Happy says, the mind of licorice. She, like, she doesn't really like licorice, the black licorice, but she loves the smell of this tobacco. So it's all, it's win-win. Smoking inside in my study. Mm. This tobacco, this pipe, I'm sorry, I usually use it for my Englishes. I smoke a lot of Frog Morton in this pipe. The first few bowls I had, I think, was a little bit slightly ghosted by the frog motor. It's a very drink tobacco. I find it very, very flavoursome and sweet. An easy kind of smoke. I thought it would be a lot heavier than this. And also, what I find interesting is, you don't really feel that the key. It's all, I almost feel it's like aromatic. It's so flavoursome and easy to smoke. Tobacco is very dry. 
when I say easy to smoke, I mean it's not those kind of really harsh blends that you know, like a Kia sound is gonna be a little bit harsh on the tongue. It's kind of if my eyes were closed and so I put this tobacco in my pipe. I would I don't know if I would realize this it's a Balkan. I probably would imagine that I was smoking some kind of arrow. The tin description. Plum pudding is an English Balkan blend like no other. I can tell you grill that's very, very refined. Rare, tab rare tobaccos crafted and pressed carefully together. Many pipe smokers say it's a perfect tobacco. Nirvana said one reviewer. You can really understand that it's really, really a very, very smooth, I think that's the word, it's a very smooth tobacco and all the flavors come together. Master blender Joe Lang Langford created this treasure for the Savile Pipe Club. Our perfect tobacco, delicious, smoky, spicy, and positively addictive. I would say addictive very, very much. You truly an exquisite tobacco to share. Enjoy this original cake of six rare ingredients that the Kia joins with Turkish Oriental, Turkish Orientals, Virginia's Cavendish and Perique. Crafting the most thought after small batch pens in America since 2007. So I know they have plum pudding, and I think there's the plum pudding special reserve, it's meant to be very, very good. And I think there's also maybe a plum pudding with bourbon, which I heard was very, very nice. And there's Mississippi River, Mississippi Reserve, special reserve, I think. The smell is really divine. Very, very sweet smell. Very sweet. It's not that kind of smoky kind of letter key, it's that sweet kind of letter key. It comes in a tin ready to smoke. I was going to give it some drying time because usually, you know, these dark flakes need drying time. But this really smoked really, really beautifully. I was really impressed with it. The way that the, 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 way that the different blends come together is really, truly remarkable. It really is a work of art. I've never ever had such a pull together kind of tobacco. It's, I think maybe rounded is the word that people like to use. I know there's quite a lot of plum puddings out there from different blenders. Sometimes when I smoked it, not this time, in previous times, I did get a little bit of a tart flavour at the end. There's a kind of a sweetness, I suppose, which reminds us of plums a little bit, maybe. Maybe that's the idea of the plum pudding. Truly, truly a delicious tobacco. So I just wanted to share that with you. Unfortunately, I've been planning to make many videos and it just doesn't happen every time something else crops up. And it's been so hot. So what tends to happen is I come home from school, have a little break, and then in the evening it's just, it's cool outside and you know, don't have the energy, it's been a hard, long, sweaty day, you know, those kind of days we are worn out. Anyway, Miss Happy will smell the tobacco, she really likes this. I'm really happy. You know, usually she likes the kind of Captain Black kind of blends. It usually reminds her of, of uncles and people from uh, from my childhood. When I do the retro hail, I notice the perique. Mm. Kept, I can feel the perique. I think as it progresses, the perique kind of develops a momentum.
No, I'm swerving a little bit too fast. I need to slow down really to enjoy this one. Anyway, folks, that's all for the moment. Please gotta be back again very soon. It was very sad hearing about Bly, 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 Bly Blade passing. A very kind hearted fellow of the YTPC. I don't very much enjoyed watching his his laid back kind of videos. Relaxing, very relaxing to hear him. His warmth really, really came through on his videos. His beautiful personality. It's always sad when when pack smokers leave us. You know, they're so. You know, many of the people in YTPC we don't know them personally, but we kind of get to know them in a different way. You know, we hear the vi we watch their videos, we hear their talks. They usually, you know, share with us what's on their mind, a kind of a bond, a kind of a friendship. When they pass, it's, you know, it's, there's a kind of a void, a kind of, um, you know, these guys are really irreplaceable. So I was a little bit sad, maybe I'm a lot sad. Anyway, I'd be very, very happy to hear your thoughts on this blim. Seattle Pipe Club, Plum Pudding. I think I'll have to get some more of these from my cellar. I only have this and one tin of this and one tin of Mississippi River. I think I'll go for a special reserve next time. That's all for now, folks. All the best. Take care. God bless you.